I've been a practicing pulmonary and critical care doctor for about 15 years. And I'm also, for the last year and a half, president of the American Muslim Health Professionals, which is a national Muslim health professional society, and uh, director uh, and leader of the National Muslim uh, COVID Task Force, which is a task force helping mosques and other places of worship and other faith communities work with the CDC, Health and Human Services, the government, local health authorities, on safe opening of mosques and necessary measures to keep congregates safe. So Ramadan is one of the most important months of the Muslim year. It's it's like Christmas, Easter, Passover, Hanukkah, all wrapped into one. It's supposed to be an absolutely exciting time where you fast from sunrise to sunset. COVID last year stole all of that from us. We, we had to make the really awful decision um, a year ago that, that the safest thing to do was to actually close our houses of worship. And last year, I could not see my parents for Ramadan. In fact, I have not seen them since last year, right before Ramadan. And I'm spending the first week of Ramadan with my family. That wasn't possible without the vaccine. But now because my mom and dad are vaccinated, my brothers and sisters who live here in New Jersey are vaccinated. And because I am, we can more safely get together. We're still wearing masks when we get together. We're still social distancing. I still haven't picked up my new niece. She's a newborn. She's only a month old. Um, but at least this year we can have Ramadan and at least have some meals together. And that's exciting. Don't delay getting the vaccine for Ramadan. I know getting injections during Ramadan, even though we're not supposed to eat from sunrise to sunset, doesn't break your fast. We believe that it's a matter of personal conscience. If you believe though that getting an injection breaks your fast, my advice to you as a doctor and as a Muslim and as someone who cares for you, is get the vaccine, break your fast, and we are allowed in our faith to make up days that we've missed. One of the things that the holiday of Ramadan teaches us is patience and persistence. And, and all of us have been struggling, even if you didn't get COVID, COVID affected you. The isolation, not being able to go to visit friends and family that you love, COVID's stolen all of that from us. And it continues to do so today. But I really do have faith and I'm really very optimistic, as are all of us, that better days are coming but we still need to be persistent and patient with the social distancing and wearing of the masks and proper hand hygiene, self-quarantining if we've been exposed, and of course, like we've been talking about, getting vaccinated. And with all of that, I genuinely believe, I don't know whether it's weeks away, months away, or maybe even another year, but I, I'm absolutely certain that better days are coming. So my my advice to everyone, my friends and neighbors in Michigan and all of us that, that are, you know, that are served by us and anyone who's listening, please get vaccinated.